Greetings everyone, it's Lodric and this is a game of the Pacific Edmunds Edition. This is my play by Ima Match against Sagoon, he's a like commander for me, the Empire of Japan. This is a game version 26B, scenario 1, all standard stock, no modifications. And you are already the 30th May 42. In this turn I will try to catch this running British cargo ships and it looks like they don't run away they run into my force I'm not more so sure it looks like that I was moving two hexes and the enemy was closing in so why is he closing in I don't know I only know these are corvettes they don't have any weapons to engage in surface engagement so it's only a question if I can sink them all, damage them all, or if some will run away. So, even if there's some firewall, there's simply nothing to worry about. And everything is going down, but everything looks like it's empty. So maybe this was an outgoing empty convoy. At least I killed some corvettes. This is, I think, the most important here. And another victory for me. And so far, Sarun only know there's a service task force, so maybe he's trying to catch me now with his own battleships or cruisers, and then my carriers can kill them all. Yes, uh, Marcus Island is here in the source, so north of Marcus Island there was a submarine going in or going out and had a contact with my first defense line of the home island. So no airstrike, this was the point where I worried about. That there's no torpedo bomber strike coming out of Melbourne and sinking my battle cruisers. Taking the ground forces, still alive. How much longer? I don't know, but so far they're still in the hex. Oof, and here was a big cargo ship going in or going out of Japan. Attacked by a Mark 14 submarine, luckily nothing major happened. numbers but not really many squads are disabled or destroyed and for the New Zealand's uh, guys it's really the end There's, they had not much and now they have less less fort less attack value give me two three days and I can strike again but these are only compartments that is the purpose to simply keep the supply situation in China critical for the Chinese.
So this turn saw some action, navy action. No air losses again. So I don't know what happened. I really don't need to strike. I'm waiting for the allies. The allies are losing a whole British convoy and with the better cargo ships, I would say. This is already better. Not fast, but long range and high uh, capacity. Plus, I think even more important is his convoys, flower class, corvettes. Uh, maybe is it not this is a standard configuration, but I, there is an upgrade. Well, and then they're getting really dangerous for every submarine. So points and ships are destroyed again. Everything is looking very well for Japan. I try now to catch up and take this base and I guess that uh, it's up to now the Chinese are in their base, but how for how long? Good, but nothing else about China, nothing in Burma, nothing really in Ceylon. There's two HQs are still holding, but it's a question of time. More fuels coming to supply Ceylon because I'm a I'm not low on fuel, but still far too little. One hundred thousand tons of in Ceylon would be nice. So we, well, I don't really plan much out of Ceylon. Only submarine operations, but yeah, but I have a long visit. These two base forces are maybe escaping my units. I will enter next turn and next next turn and we can first attack but okay biggest issue here in Perth is really supplies I don't have supplies they're on on the way but delivery time is first in one week so yeah and with this low quiet uh, point of supplies I cannot really run mm, a lot of air missions submarines are not really detecting too much but this is fine so long I know there's nothing coming in or out behind my back it's fine this was my battle cruiser since they had this engagement, so they turned around because I had them on Auckland. Forgot. This can always happen if you. They always after a battle, especially if one ship is low on main shells. Okay, they're not low on main shells, but uh, then they have the tendency to run away. So now I more or less uh, must get this battle cruisers. And my carriers together, 10 hexes, now uh, we will see. So there was a task force, I wiped them out. Now I guess something is coming out of Melbourne. My own carriers are still not detected, maybe by bad weather. These battle cruisers are also not detected. I don't know exactly where is the Navy search, but yeah. But I will try to position my task force somewhere here. Roughly for 15 hexes from Melbourne. New Zealand, Nelson, question of time, everything is um, okay so far. And here in the far east, the real far east, gasoline or fuel just arrived, not much, but enough to feed my battleships. I need one more turn to fix Congo and the destroyer. Then I feel two battle cruisers, a scout cruiser, and uh, three yeah. destroyers for escort. And then this is a new task force to try to intercept here more incoming, outgoing cargo ships or whatever, or even the heavy cruisers. Because I keep here the two battle cruisers. Uh, exactly for the purpose to sink enemy light and heavy cruisers. Immune against any shells from a heavy cruiser, killing every cruiser. So this is battle cruisers. Um, they are not really good for killing enemy battleships. This I had in my Killroy game. They're my battle, four battle cruisers fight against three American standard uh, battleships with 14 interesting, but there was not much chance for this Congos. They simply cannot penetrate the battleship armor only if they are lucky and the 200 armor belt is simply nothing for a 14 inch to stop them. Good, see you next time, take care, bye bye.